let's get into it. Okay, let's do this. Um, Kick it off. Yeah, welcome everyone to the an unboxing of the first um, manufactured prototype for Taxi Derby. And Rami and I were ecstatic to get the package in the mail day. Right. They definitely didn't uh, mislabel it. No uh, question about <laughs> where this came from. Uh, but yeah, so this Let's is dive in. from Long Pack. We got it just today. And you guys are going to get a sneak peek. We've been anxiously, wow. They, they did a good job with all the tape here. Probably cutting through the game itself. <laughs> Straight through the box. <laughs> all right. Even <laughs> more. Probably. I don't know if we did that every night, actually. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Go ahead. Yep. I'm going to do layer two. Yeah, take it away. Who knows how many layers there's going to be? Maybe. We know already from the emails we've had with uh, our long pass rep. Be we'll... <laughs> <laughs> careful. Almost alive. Uh... So this is just the white. We have a white box. Um, they're still working on getting the print set up. I'll stand back. I'm scared. So the outside box is just going to be white for this uh, version, but everything else should be um, pretty close to what what we've sent over to them. So I will go away from you at the next time. It should, be like a, it should be like a prototype prize too, the white box taxi duty. Yeah, it's not that cool. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, right, so it comes shrink wrapped. Um, it's quite sturdy there. Yeah, so much we definitely, when we designed it, we wanted like the highest quality box we could get. And so we went for like an extra thick box to make sure we can lock that in. I mean, that looks like a lot thicker than... It feels, yeah, it feels good quality to me. Like it feels like a compact, sturdy box. Let Ronnie do the honors. Let's see. All right. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. We we'll kind of keep this, I don't know, the angle on here. Woo! All right. So Copy we got number one. First edition. So this is the collector's edition certificate. It comes with mine and Ronnie's signatures. Um, yeah, we wanted it to feel like this, you know, collector's edition. So uh, Philip, our designer, did this kind of cool looking sketch at the top, making it feel like it's, you know, first edition prototype. First edition on the back. Number one. Yep. Looks like we have the Taxi Derby Deluxe Rule page. Um, nothing too exciting. We posted this on Facebook. So um, if you want to read the rules, go check it out. It's on our Facebook yeah. page. I like the design. That looks, the colors, I mean, already look really nice. So yeah. Like that. We'll just take turns. Go for it. Rule book. Um, yeah. Paper quality here looks nice. It's kind of a, a little bit of a, it's not a super glossy finish to the rule book, but the paper feels really nice. Um, thick paper. Colors are showing up really well yeah. throughout. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for this. everyone yeah, who no, like, read through it and helped us so do many, corrections. So. so many people helped us. Shout out to all of our backers. Corrections on sure. this. Um, yeah, that looks gorgeous to me. So cool. That looks sweet. All right. So punch boards, they told us they'd kind of done. Yeah, yeah I'll take one. Taking some of the coins out already. So we got our punch boards. They're uh, really good thickness on them. Yeah, that feels really nice. Um, and so just punch a few out to come out nice. They had punched our... some of these, pre-punched some of these for us, so that's why they're yeah. ran into different directions. The quality looks like everything's lined up. We're really good. So we've got three punch boards that come in the game with all the different backers, or all the different, uh, sorry, dry, uh, riders that come in it. Yeah. So Passengers. All, yeah, passengers. Those all look really good. I like they did a little bit of a rounded cut on the... Um, on the passenger tiles, so they don't have sharp corners, but they'll feel really nice. The thickness there is actually like, I've very few board games have I ever seen. In fact, I was like measuring my wingspan game components. That was like a game that came out this year. I'm sure a lot of you either have it or have heard about it. And they've been like touted for like, wow, the quality of this thing's amazing. So I was measuring the thickness of their tiles, and I measured it at 1.8 millimeters. 
So I'll have to bust out my micrometer so I can <laughs> see what this tile measures at. But I'm just feeling it. I'm like, that's got to be thicker. It's a really thick tile. Leave a comment if any of you guys have a micrometer that you measure your board games. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. That's, so. that's the kind of board game fan I am. So, all right. So we got the four boards that will rotate. These are actually really, really nice. It's kind of a matte uh, surface, which is really nice. And then the back um, with our night board turned out really great so I mean the thickness yeah. on these is really good we made it even wow. thicker than the passenger tiles so we definitely want to upgrade components as, as much as we can so we have our night boards you can see there and then on the other side are the um, the daytime board so I'm loving the feel of these this is awesome well the mat itself is like a yeah. really nice finish yeah um, it's, it's different from like a lot of games that have kind of a glossy slippery finish this is yeah. more like gives a little bit of resistance. So hopefully those passenger tiles don't necessarily slide around as yeah. much. The it kind of feels like it has that linen type texture on top. No, it's, it's mostly a pure matte, isn't it? I don't know. It just no, I feels think, good. Yeah. A little I bit can't of perforation. remember if we added linen to it, but yeah, we tried our best to, to up the quality as much as we can. So those are really, really nice. That looks beautiful. All right. Game boards. So those kind of sit on top of, of the box. You can kind of see the uh, how everything will, will come. Um, so this is for all of our uh, deluxe factors and up. This is just kind of the upgrades with the three passengers you guys all unlocked and the uh, congestion tokens. So I yeah. don't know if we have to bust those out for that. Rockstar, Kingpin, CEO. Um, those all look really good. Yep. Here's something I've been really looking forward to. Yeah, so CDs. I'll let you do it. Romney's got the standard taxi meeples over there. I've got the custom ones. The ones that a lot of you uh, but I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, and we'll get some photos and post them as well. But you have the the taxi meeples turned out really, really nice. Yeah, those are good. The paint finish is really nice, and then the silk screen print uh, showing the custom outlines yeah. of all the cars looks really nice. I don't know if you can see them from here, but we'll get we'll pictures. Yeah, we'll lay them out for you, and then we'll get pictures. So those are awesome. Those turn out really, really good. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. You're doing all nice. This is the v up. VW bus right here for the hippie grandma can't wait to drive that one around town yep so here we have the uh different upgrade tokens so your luxury your wi-fi turbo um yep. and so what we tried to do with these is originally we wanted to do kind of a, a thicker hard plastic but they actually recommended that we go with wood and these are really nice to hold they feel great um, yeah so the screen prints turned out well and we'll, we'll take some more additional photos colors yeah, look really nice Yep. Um, yeah. And pretty visible on the board, I feel like. Too. Yeah, exactly. That was the board. big thing is you're going to be laying some of these out on the board. So it's just nice to be able to see them quickly, pick them up easily. Um, yep. Definitely happy with those. Uh, the one thing I will know, I think you guys will see this in some of the photos. This luxury token is just a little bit pinkish. It's actually now, they sent us some photos of this. And now that I see it in person, it's it's really not that bad, actually. Like it's, it's pretty close. I don't know if we have any. So this is the player mats and there's like a purple color where these tokens will get placed on the player mat. Yeah, this is one thing they talked about was... So these are like where your luxury tokens will go and it's a little bit off from the pink of this and so we'll, we'll definitely be uh, asking them to you know, send us another color sample for this to make sure we get it as close as possible but uh, overall the feel of those tokens is really nice. So I think the one thing that we had to kind of revamp outside of this is we're going to add like a little divot here because they're a little bit difficult to, to grab with the box. Yeah. Uh, so we'll try to add something. I was just trying some, to get these yeah. out and I was like, wait a minute, I can't get that Try to get something out. But yeah, so we've got player mats. Uh, we have both an A side and a B side, which again, very thick. We want to make sure that these feel great for everybody. We added kind of a linen finish to them so they try to up the quality on them as much as we could. So these are really, really nice. Yeah, um, good sized colors look good. Diego, the drift coach. And we got the end of game bonus board and on the back is the solo uh, board for for everyone. So you kind of get an idea of this is same the, size. This is the patrol car within its own oh, nice. bag. Cut that one out. Plus, yeah. We'll have to kind of dump these out. Let's see what's underneath. All right. The treasures underneath. The rest of the characters. Yeah, so there's all the player mats. Here's, I got the dice. Pop those out. I'm gonna take a look at these dice real quick. So two dice come in with the game. One is the custom D6 that has the traffic cone icons on it. Yep, for our deluxe backers that, that yep. will come in. So yep. that's a nice thick wooden dice. Um, the cone icon, uh, 
was misprinted on this one, they're going to update it to have it be a white, so it'll look a lot more visible in the final print. Uh, but overall, the, the numbers look cool, and the dice is nice and solid, easy to see. So. And then this is just a, a D4, um, so it's just a black and white D4 that will be used with the standard game, standard yep. play. Yep. And then we have the uh, mini little cone meeples oh, that go on the those. different roads. Yeah, these actually look really, really block nice. Block the road off. Um, yep. Yeah, so the city traffic expansion, these are used to block roads. So you just put that right over a road, no passing that road. Yep. Some pretty standard uh, 10 millimeter wood cubes um, that come with the game. Those go on uh, the yeah, end of game scoring map. So. Here. Yeah, so different players will track their advancement on the speeding track right here. So people start on this side and uh, people will move along the track like this. Two people there or something. Um, those look good. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to go and jump into the card? Yeah. I, I have the card deck right here. This is a traffic ticket out. deck. It's sealed in its own little wrapper. Uh, I'm going to peel up the corner here. Um, yeah, so these are nice little deck of cards right here. A couple types of cards. So one is the traffic ticket deck. So that's um, all these up to there are traffic tickets. Um, and one thing I'm noticing, it looks like maybe there was a misprint on the back. We'll send you guys a photo of this, but these are supposed to have a different back than what is shown there. So yeah. we probably uh, just need to update the file. So that's actually the back that's supposed to be on all of them. We can talk to our rep and figure out what happened with those, but this is what it will look like. That'll look like on the front. Um, but yeah, the cards feel, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, check them out. I feel like they're, I they sort of stick more than I want them to. I want them to, like, if I think about shuffling them, it might be a little bit hard to shuffle them. So yeah. that will have to be something we'll talk to them about. Um, end of game. Uh, so this is a little thing we added um, it's a reference card, so it has turn order, actions you can take on your turn, um, explanation of the patrol car rules, and then the end of game criteria on the back with some uh, icons to reference. So that would yep. be nice to have. These are $20 uh, money cards. Yeah, those are just used mainly for the end of the game. Once the, the game's over, just as a little bit of extra money. Normally during the game while you're playing, you don't actually use these, so. Yep. Um, just um, they're there just in case. Yep, yep. Um, so we also have the metal coins. So we have a first edition, uh, the Taxi Derby backer coin. So um, this will come in some of your guys' copies that got it. It's nice what we're actually talking with our, our rep is to change the finish. We're not that big of fans. Very, very shiny if you can see that. Yeah. Um, and so not necessarily in love with how shiny it is. And so we, we're talking with about different options that we can go with to um get different coatings on it yeah make it a little less or a little bit more yeah we're gonna evaluate a couple coin. options of coin. this is the five five dollar coin it's a, this is a nice size for a coin i think like that'll feel really good to stack up in front of you yep. the thickness of the coin feels really nice Three to me ones. and um yeah like ronnie said it's a, and the the like the molding on it looks nice like the details in the coin uh, look fine and everything but the finish is just a little bit shiny for us makes it feel, I don't know. Yeah, let us know what you guys think. If yeah. you guys like that like idea, maybe finish. we will poll you guys and see if people prefer, we'll get some close-up photos. If people prefer this really shiny, we can definitely keep it. Yeah. Um, but if people want more of that matte, classic looking, like used weathered coin, yeah, we'll definitely cool. uh, go that route. So yeah. anyway, yeah, we'll uh, send out maybe a, a poll and, and get everybody's thoughts and we'll just go through our majority. You guys helped make this game, so. You guys named the city of Ixac. <laughs> so that's that's here to right. Stay. Um, so this is something I wanted to check out. So this is the game trays. Um, Pretty tight. Yeah, it looks like the tolerance here was just maybe like a little bit snug for the box size it shows. It does come out. Um, like the thickness of that tray feels really nice and sturdy to me. And then like the quality of the details, the Taxi Derby logo printed up top here. And uh, that's the game trays logo. There's uh, passenger slots where you uh, sit all the passengers, have nice little ridges to make them kind of stand up and make them easy to pull out and, and organize in there. Um, yeah, I mean, we can we can maybe get some photos of how everything works. I know that. everybody's kind of concerned about sleeves on cards, right? So we talked to them. It should be enough tolerance yeah, for some sleeves to go on the cards. A little bit of room 
in there. Um, anyway, yeah. But yeah, everything fits nicely in that tray. I think there's plenty of room. Yeah, plenty of room. Storage. For upgrades too. Asked. And uh, expansions, yeah, expansions eventually, right? Yep. It's <laughs> the plan with your guys' support, so. Cool. Yeah, this is, this is uh, we'll have to get the tolerance on the tray just right, but overall I'm really happy with yeah. the tray turned out. Cool, everyone. Well, thank you guys for joining and hopefully let us know if you have any questions or comments and uh, we'll, we're definitely open to taking more photos, uh, taking different angles if you guys have questions about anything. Um, but we're excited to get you guys this game in May, so it's yeah. coming up. Yeah, feel so. free to reach out. Thanks for your support. Yeah, we really appreciate it.